Fellow Toastmasters, welcome to the month of May and the final stretch before the end of this Toastmasters program year. At the beginning of the year, your district leadership team set a vision for the year ahead. Um, a big part of that vision was that every single member that wishes to achieves one educational award this year. Now that's typically manifested in level completions. And so my invitation to you right now is to double check how you're doing. Have you already completed a level? If so, and if you believe that's the case, check in with your club leadership committee to make sure that all is in order and both and they have been processed in both base camp and club central. If you're maybe one speech or one project away, do you think it's something that you can schedule this month and finish the year out having achieved a level? There's also other ways that we grow and develop through the Toastmasters education program. And sometimes that doesn't result in a pin or a certificate. One example of that is serving as a club officer for your club. Every single member owns the club and we're now knee deep in club leadership elections. Hopefully you're watching this and you've seen the club leadership election videos that Toastmasters International released a few weeks ago on A, how to stand for election and B, on how to run them. Now, whether you've been a mem you've been a member that signed up yesterday or you've been a member over 20 years, everybody has the opportunity to stand for election and put their hand forward to serve your club. I was very fortunate that when I joined Toastmasters six years ago or six and a half years ago now, that very early on, even though I hadn't planned to, someone tapped me on the shoulder and said, hey, you've got this energy about you. How do you fancy serving as vice president of membership? I didn't fully understand what that meant at the time, but somebody took me aside and, and talked me through the role. I made my own interpretation of what that meant. And I thought, okay, yeah, I can do that. And from there, the journey itself has been phenomenal. It's a great way to get to know club members better. And it's a great way to understand the bigger picture in Toastmasters. So if you know of your club, maybe needing some gaps to fill within next year's club leadership committee, or if you fancy doing a particular role, I encourage you to step up and get involved. Finally, every organization, every business has key performance indicators that give us an indication of whether or not things are going well and what might need improving. And in Toastmasters, particularly at club level, we call that the Distinguished Club Programme. And you may hear people refer to this as DCP points. If you don't know what that means, give it a little Google, go to the toastmasters.org website or simply just ask. But as we come to the end of this Toastmasters year, take a look and see how your club's doing. DCP is measured for four areas, membership health and whether or not we do have new members coming through and, and people sticking around, educational awards, training and general administration of the club. You'll hear a lot more about DCP and the Distinguished Club Programme in the coming weeks. So please familiarise yourself with it. And I hope that your club finishes as a Distinguished Club or above this Toastmasters Programme year. Finally, it's not too late to get your ticket to the District 91 conference where you can meet members and fellow Toastmasters and actually people that are not even Toastmasters uh, from across this district. Great opportunity for networking, great opportunity to hear and watch the finals of all four speech contests. Uh, the team have been doing a fantastic job. I hope to see you there. Take care and bye bye for now.